In the Sahara Desert, there stands a strange monument marking the place where once the most isolated tree in the world stood. The Tenere wastelands were once populated by a rich forest of acacia trees. By the 20th century, all but one had been wiped out. The story of the last tree of Tenere is short, sad, and stupid. This tree had roots that ran 40 feet deep and was surrounded on all sides by 400 kilometers of nothing but sand. When a British officer came upon it in 1939, he exclaimed, you have to see this tree to believe it. He didn't understand why camels hadn't come and eaten its leaves, why the locals hadn't chopped it down and used it for firewood. He said this tree was a kind of miracle and must also be sacred to the people who lived there, and it was. It marked a place on caravan routes and was treated as a sacred symbol of life in the desert. But it didn't stand the rest of the 20th century quite as well. And in 1973, a drunk Libyan truck driver ran headfirst into the tree, despite having 400 kilometers on either side to go around it. Nonetheless, into the tree he went, broke it clean off, and in that instant, the last tree of Tenere was no more. Once called the most remote tree in the world, it still managed to be hit by a drunk driver. So, in its place, today, there is a kind of weird metal fake tree used to mark the spot and honor its existence. But it is a poor replacement for this tiny, beautiful sliver of life that once flourished in the otherwise empty desert. Subscribe here and watch more videos here. Can you freaking imagine driving across the desert and hitting the, literally the only thing you could hit?